Worship Partners, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. What we're doing is about a five-minute Bible study, and we're trying to determine what God's will is for our life. We went through this yesterday, and I wanted to share with you a couple of verses that can actually help us to understand this just a little bit better. We're going to take a look at some of the writings of Paul and see how they apply to our lives, and I think that you'll really enjoy these videos. Now, I encourage you to subscribe over here and don't miss any one of these videos. If you hit the notification bell, you'll actually be notified each time that there's a new video. So make sure that you click both of those buttons and I think that you'll really enjoy that. Oh, and don't forget to share this because these are absolutely free and I hope that they're changing people's lives. So let's take a look at some of the scriptures that I believe that the Lord is sharing with me that I'd like to share with you as well. So this is Romans 12, 1 and it says, and so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all that he's done for you. Let them be a living and a holy sacrifice, the kind that he will find acceptable. That is truly the way to worship the Lord. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, Steve and I really thought that we were going to be talking about determining God's will for my life. But this is a great lead up into this. And this is my point today, that we have to be willing to give ourselves to God. If we want to be able to pursue what his will is, then shouldn't we also be willing to sacrifice ourselves for that? Now, I'm not talking about laying down on some railroad tracks or killing ourselves or anything like that. But the reality is, is that God is truly asking us to take our lives, put it into his hands. And if I can do that, if I can trust him for that, then I have to absolutely believe that he's going to show me what his will is. Take a look at the very next verse. It helps, and helps us understand that. So Romans 12, 2 reads this way. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So what he's telling us here is, is that we shouldn't be doing what the world is doing. We should be doing what he's showing us to do. And if we adequately follow what it is that he tells us to do, and we allow him to change the way that we think, then we can start understanding more and more of what his will is for us. You see, he's not trying to hide it from us. He's trying to present it to us. And we just have to be willing to listen. We have to be willing to do. And we have to be willing to allow ourselves to be used by him. Once we're able to do those three things, and it's really going to make all the difference in the world in our lives. Now, Paul wrote this out, but I want you to see this. In the Old Testament, we can find a scripture that's very similar to that. Are you ready? Check this out. So this is Psalms 143.8. And it says, let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I'm trusting you to show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Do you see that this hits both of those verses that Paul talked about in Romans? And if we know that we can give ourselves this completely to God, that he's willing and he's able to show us and tell us and lead us to the place that he really wants us to do. Look at what it says further on in this chapter. So in Psalms 143.8, when he says, for I give myself to you, that really means I've given myself, my soul, my spirit, everything. Now the, the Hebrew combination of this literally means that it's the soul, the self, the appetite, the desire, the emotion, the, the passion that we have. If we give all of those things to God and we don't allow ourselves to take control of those things, but allow God to take care of, imagine if he took care of your passions. Imagine if he took control of your emotions. Imagine if he took care of, check this out, your desires. That's going to make all the difference in your, in your life. And as you give yourself to him, he's going to make himself more evident in these things as we go along. So Psalms 143.10 tells us, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on firm footing. This verse tells us that if I surrender myself to God, and if I allow him to teach me to do his will, then what he's going to do is he's going to allow his spirit and we will allow his spirit to be able to lead us forward on firm footing. Remember yesterday we talked about asking God to protect us and to guide us and to direct us. Well, if he does that through the power of his own spirit, then I can start seeing what it is that he has in store for me. And I can start using these things in a way that will help me to understand more and more of what God has in store for me. So this is the word that I believe that the Lord has in store for you today. He says, I'm not hiding my will from you. Just sincerely seek me and you'll find my perfect will. So that's what we want to do. We want to sincerely seek God. We want to give him our hearts and our minds and our souls. And we want to make sure that what we do is fully aligned with what it is that God has in store for us. And when we do that, we will fully accomplish exactly what it is that he has in store for us. Now remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any one of these videos. Make sure that you share it as well on whatever social media post you're on and do me 
a favor. Oh, it will be that miracle going someplace to happen.